Paul James here and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can make tons of money selling websites to local business owners. And I'm gonna even show you how to find your very first client using Google Maps. Now, don't worry if you've never designed a website before, you can get started with this strategy even as a complete beginner because you do not need any programming or coding experience when you use the tools I'm gonna share with you in this video. Also, you can do this from anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter where you're located. You can even target businesses in the United States remotely even if you're not from the United States, which is great because it means you're gonna have access to business owners that wanna spend money on your services and I'm gonna share exactly how to land your first website design client today. All right, with that being said, let's jump into the tutorial. Well, first off, we're obviously gonna to need to be on Google Maps because that is where we're gonna find our prospecting for our clients. So prospecting is the process of looking for a client who needs our services and then going and reaching out to them and offering what we have to offer to them. Now, obviously, if you've never designed websites before, this is going to be a little bit challenging. But the way that I share with you how to do it is going to eliminate all of the normal roadblocks that you would have with this strategy. So don't worry, I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know. I've been doing this for a long time and I have a lot of successful students that have also followed my strategies and made a lot of money doing it. In fact, if you want help, I have a free workshop in the description of this video. I will take you from point zero to your first $5,000 client. I'll share with you exactly how to do it. You can go and get access to that in the first link of the description of this video. But anyways, let's dive in. So what you're gonna wanna start off by doing is picking a niche and a location. You can just go on Google Maps and just select any random location if you're not from the area. But if you are from the area, you might already have some ideas of different areas where there's businesses located. So I decided on Cedarburg, which is a small town outside of the suburbs of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And then I decided on the niche auto painting. So what you wanna do is you wanna pick something where you can go and find businesses in that niche, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to Google, search it, and you're gonna scroll down to the Google Maps section, which is right here. Now what we're looking for is you'll notice some listings have this little website icon, and then some of them do not. And you won't always see it right here on the first page. You may have to actually click into more businesses and open this up to really get the full aspect of it um, to find more, like here's another one that doesn't. And if you scroll down, you'll find some more potentially. Here's another one that doesn't. Now, the other thing that you can do is obviously these ones that don't have a website, they are good prospects to reach out to right out of the gate. Like no question, these are people we wanna reach out to because they don't have anything at all. But you can also open up the ones that do have websites and see what, what their website looks like. I usually like to hold down the command button if you're on a Mac or a control button if you're on a Windows and it'll open them up in new windows up here. And I'll just take a look at what their website looks like. So here's what I'm talking about. This website right here, it, it looks like it's um, going to the wrong website because this has nothing to do with auto painting. I think it, it must have got linked wrong somehow. These people would also be a good candidate to build a website up for even though they have this website option there. So I always like to open them up to see what we'll find out because sometimes you'll find they have a website and it just doesn't look good. Like this one too, like look at this. This website is not good at all. This is a horrible website. It looks like, I'm not trying to be mean, but really it looks like it was designed in like 1990 or something like that. So what you could do is you could actually go and remake their website for them and get paid you know, upwards of $5,000 to help them do that. Now again, if you've never done this kind of thing before, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So we use a tool called highlevelpages.com and this tool allows you to take advantage of website templates that they already have built in, they already have the hosting, they already have everything done for you so that if you're not tech savvy, you don't have to like worry about learning things because it's already done for you. So I do have that tutorial in the first link of the description of this video. Before you get started with this tool, I recommend checking that out first just because there's a lot to learn. But let me give you like the overview, the helicopter overview of everything in this video to show you how easy it is. So here's what I would do. Let's say I wanted to sell a website to Schmidt Bros. I'm gonna go down to the tab on high level pages that says sites on the left side here. And at the top menu right here, we have a lot of different things. We have funnels. These are kind of like one-off websites. They're more for like running ads. And then we have websites right here. These are like your typical websites, like things like this. But obviously this is a bad looking website. We're gonna design them one that looks good. 
We have stores. That would be like your e-commerce type website where um, you can set a business up to be able to sell stuff online. So obviously for this one, we're going for website. So we're gonna click the website option here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click new website here, this blue button at the top. And this is what I love about this, this tool is that not only can you start from scratch and just you know use your full creative ability to create a website from scratch, they have templates already built in, over a thousand templates. So pretty much across any industry that you can think of, they're gonna already have a template that you can use so that you're not left starting from scratch wondering how you're gonna do this, right? So what I would do is I would hit continue and I'm gonna search for auto painting because that is our niche, right? Okay, so I found a couple different ones. I found auto paint works template, auto body and paint shop and body and paint shop. Now, if I'm wondering what I want to use, I can click this little eyeball button to preview what the template looks like before I commit to it. So this one actually looks really, really nice. I like this one already. But if I want to check out the other ones, oops, I just clicked off of it. If I want to click on the other ones too, I can, like I'm not committed to that one yet. So let's check out this first one as well. I mean, this one's also really nice too. And it's a little brighter, it's got some Google reviews and um, this company did have some Google reviews, so maybe we would leverage this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this one. Now, normally, of course, you're not gonna go crazy until you actually have their commitment to work with you. But because I'm assuming you guys probably have never worked with clients before, maybe you have no examples to show them, you're gonna have to put in just a little bit extra work in order to get a client. And this is the way that you're gonna stand out from everyone else out there. This is how you're gonna stand out from the companies that have been in business for a decade doing this kind of stuff, is you're gonna put in just a little bit extra work at the beginning. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna go into this website and you're gonna do a little bit of a mock-up for them and start actually replacing some of the information with their information. So we're gonna go in here and we're going to customize this site a little bit for them ahead of time, just like that. We're just gonna change some things around. Um, we're going to add in their address here. Just, we're gonna make it look like we've already done some of the work for them so that they can actually feel like this website is theirs already, you know, without them even having paid for it. Like we can just give them an experience. So like this is what this website will actually look like if you work with us. So boom, there we go. We've customized it a little bit. Now, all I would need to do is save the changes and then click this little preview button and I can send them the link to this where they're gonna be able to view this. I could put their logo in here too, which I should have done. So I do recommend you put their logo in there if they have one because then it's gonna show it. Otherwise, just replace it with some words of what their name is. But I'm gonna send this off to them. I'm gonna go, I'll either fill out the form that's already on their website, find their Facebook page, find their email address, and I'm gonna send off a preview of what I've done for them and I'm gonna to explain to them, hey, I already went ahead, I did a lot of the work for you, this website is ready to go, you know, we just need to fill in any other details or changes you wanna make, and then we'll set it live for you. And look at this website compared to theirs. This is theirs now, and this is the website that I built for them, you know, with a couple of seconds, right? Obviously, they're gonna be like, wow, like, this guy really knows his stuff. He went ahead, he did all this work ahead of time. You know, I wanna go ahead and hire them. So that is what I would do. Now, if you really wanna stand out, you could film what's called a Loom video. Loom is a tool, just go to loom.com. That allows you to make screen recording videos, kinda of like the video I'm making for you right now. And you could just walk them through your, your proposal as well, if you want. So you can sell these websites anywhere from a thousand to five thousand dollars, and the cool part is is that you can upsell different things on them. Like you could put like a chat bot in the lower right hand corner of their website. I don't have one on there right now, but I could put a chat bot right here that goes and interacts with customers for them on autopilot if I wanted. Let me show you what that looks like. This is another thing that I could charge a recurring monthly payment for. So if I come over here to chat widget. I could create a new chat widget for their website. We'll call it a live chat widget. And I'm gonna name this uh, Schmidt Bros. Okay, and what it's gonna do is gonna throw this little bubble at the bottom here onto their website that they can click and AI will interact with their customers and get them to book an appointment. So there's my chatbot created. 
I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go to their website, which is right here, and I'm gonna click edit, and I think it's under settings, we're gonna select our chat widget here, the Schmidt Bros chat widget that we just created, and we're gonna save that. And now what that's going to do is once these changes go into effect, and we refresh the page, it's gonna take that chat widget and it's gonna throw it on their website. We can charge them extra. We could charge them $500 a month for this AI chat widget. Every business owner out there moving forward in the future is going to have an AI employee. It's going to have chatbots that are interacting with their customers and closing deals for them on autopilot. And you can go ahead and be on the forefront of that by getting stuff like this set up for them and being you know, one of the first to market with this type of strategy. So there you go. That is exactly how you can start selling websites with Google Maps. And again, I have that free urgent training I'm holding in the description of this video. I'd highly, highly encourage you to go check it out because I'm going to help you go from zero to your first $5,000 with this tool. Okay. Do not miss out on this. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. I will see you next time. I am Paul James. Peace out.